from Seattle, Washington. Extracting the signal from the noise, it's the Cube. On the ground at LinuxCon North America 2015. Now, here's your host, Jeff Frick. Hi, welcome back. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We are on the ground in Seattle, Washington at LinuxCon's North America Conference 2015. Came up to check it out, really the granddaddy of all uh, open source projects in the enterprise Linux. And we're excited to be here. And our next guest is Shabendu Ghosh, the senior tech strategist from Red Hat. Welcome. Thank you. So Good to be here. You guys, uh, Red Hat's been playing in the open source game for a very long time, so this is nothing new to you. Uh, 20 years plus, yep. <laughs> so it's been good, long run, yep. But what we want to talk a little about today is one of the newer trends, one of the newer hot things, which is containers. We were at DockerCon a couple weeks back. It was very, very exciting. People are really excited. Kind of the, what feels like, you know, kind of the, it's current instantiation of consumerization of IT, where just let the developers go. They can build the app, really an app-centric world, build it on your laptop, do a test and dev on AWS, roll it into deploy, and not really have to worry about what's going on under the covers. So, um, yeah, I mean, containers, um, containers have been around in, in different shapes and forms for a while. Um, the, the work that Docker has done has been really innovative, and it's something that has uh, definitely pushed the speed at which uh, a technology is getting adopted really fast. Um, what we've done at Red Hat is to look at containers back in RHEL 6, so about four or five years ago, we had built a whole PaaS environment using containers in, in Linux and kernel, but with RHEL 7, we introduced Docker early on, uh, so we've been in production since uh, June of last year, um, and has have had supported. And so what we're finding now is sort of the next generation of problems with containers, which is you don't have containers just by themselves. You don't deploy a single container. You, what you have is a large number of containers. And so the next generation of problems is really around orchestration and security, and how do you manage at scale? So let's, let me back back you up a step, because as you said, containers have been around for a while. What was it that Docker did that kind of put a big, bright, new, shiny light on containers that, that wasn't there before? I think the biggest thing that it did was creating the image format. So the Docker formatted container image allows the developer to specify what they want in their runtime stack and put it together, and then hand that off to the ops team to say, run this stack, not anything else. Right. And I just love your comment, right? It's your classic um, production line. Then you always move to your next point of failure. Right. No matter, as soon as you fix one thing, you always move to your next point of failure and discover kind of what are the next gen problems. So how are you addressing those problems? Um, and really, what's kind of the future? How are we going to get past some of these orchestration challenges? So the orchestration challenges, I think um, we are leveraging and we've been participating in the Kubernetes community that Google started last year. and. With Kubernetes, we think that the scale at which we can generate new ideas around orchestration is going to be really fast. Um, we released the first version of Kubernetes in RHEL um, in March of this year, and we released our PaaS platform, OpenShift, that leverages Kubernetes as well in July of this year. So um, we're, both, we're providing customers choices in having a raw orchestration environment with Kubernetes, as well as fully managed environment with OpenShift. Right. So, because it's the orchestration that really makes a cloud to cloud, right? In terms of the the goodness of things that come from a kind of a cloud deployment. Right, and the cloud is all about having inherent services. So a developer or an ops team doesn't have to manage each individual thread. Um, the software defines what it needs and sort of makes the workflow happen automatically. And what's next? What's kind of your next uh, six month priorities that you see as the next uh, hill to climb? Uh, I think the next six months priority in, in the Docker environment, one of the things we're looking at is really provenance and trust and security of the images. Uh, we're still not completely there with image signing. Um, it's an upstream collaboration that's going on. Um, Docker announced the notary project uh, at LinuxCon and at DockerCon, and that's one of the founding blocks for the next generation of security. And you've been coming to this thing for a while, you've been at Red Hat, I think you said for 10 years. Um, for the people that aren't here in Seattle, what's kind of the vibe of the conference and how has it changed over time? Um, so this LinuxCon, I mean, it's now sort of a joint LinuxCon, ContainerCon, Cloud Open. Okay. So, so what, what, are you, what you're seeing is sort of the move beyond the core kernel infrastructure, if you will, of what Linux has traditionally been into more of the developer-centric tools and technologies. So 
having ContainerCon and having a whole track on containers and tools is impressive and the vibe and electricity is, is definitely there. And was it con when, did it, when did the ContainerCon piece get added? It got added last year, it uh, so it's, it's really new in terms of having joined and sort of getting the scope to be much bigger than just the core infrastructure. Yeah. It's an interesting conference because we're here this day three. Usually by day three, right, people are all getting out of town. You know, there's usually not a lot going on day three, but because there's all these co-located, kind of tangential, complementary flavors of this con, like right. you said, Container Con, Linux Con, OpenStack Seattle's tomorrow, there's a bunch of stuff that they've kind of blended together. People are hanging around, there's still a lot to do. People are really taking advantage of the whole week. Absolutely, and KVM Forum is coming up tomorrow, and, and so you know all the OpenStack teams are here talking about KVM and how OpenStack and o Overt and all those infrastructure pieces work. And so Red Hat, we have folks here that will stay here for the full week um, talking about containers, talking about kernel, talking about virtualization, and sort of span the whole breadth. Yeah, exciting times to be in the open source, huh? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> All right, Shabendu, thanks for taking a few minutes and stopping by, I appreciate it. Sure, thank you. Yeah, absolutely, I'm Jeff Frick, you're watching theCUBE. We are on the ground in Seattle, Washington at LinuxCon North America 2015. Thanks for watching.